back viewers to my channel today in this session together we're going to cover VAT the calculation of the VAT payable or the VAT refundable we'll use the question from June 2019 F6 to demonstrate this let me remind you that the copy of the question and also the solution will be found on the comment section below the video and also if you have not subscribed please pause the video now and subscribe and also share to your friends now let's go to the requirement required a calculate the VAT the value added tax payable by or refundable to farm fit limited for the month of July 2018. Note, you should indicate by the use of a zero any amount on which VAT is not chargeable or not reclaimable. Eight marks. B. Explain the requirements which must be met by registered VAT operators to claim input tax. Two marks. Let's go to the scenario. FarmFeed Limited is a manufacturer of livestock feed and is a category C value added tax registered operator. The livestock feed is processed from soya beans procured from contracted farmers. The following information relates to the VAT return for the month of July 2018. All figures are stated inclusive of VAT where applicable we are given sales discounted sales sales return cost of sales gross profit not one discounted sales the quality of the inventory was compromised by over exposure to direct sunlight a 20 percent discount was offered to customers who had purchased the compromised inventory not two cost of sales Opening inventory, raw material procured, closing inventory. Additional information, other payments for the month of July 2019. Salaries and wages, all risk insurance policy, interest on overdraft facility, repairs and maintenance, stationary, detailed below. 50% of the stationary was procured from unregistered operators. Non-current assets acquired, fiscal devices, passenger motor vehicle, engine capacity 3.2 thousand cc. Impaired debts recovered during the month amounted to 25,000. Now let's do the calculation. Before we do the calculation, we are we are told that um, Farm Fit Limited is a category C value added tax operator which means farm feed has to pay VAT every 25th of every month we have to know the categories there is a category A category B category C and category D category A these are by uh, monthly this prepare the by monthly returns ending with the odd months the category b also is a bi-monthly the registered operator who prepares the returns bi-monthly ending with the even months category c prepares the vat return every month and category d is a specialized category that is granted by the commission upon application now Let's do the calculations. I have just gone ahead and uh, inserted some formulas on my Excel sheet to save time. Now, the formula is output tax minus input tax. We get either the VAT payable or the VAT refundable. Now, let's start with sales. Farm feed sells livestock feed. So, these are zero rated 
you have to know the difference between zero rated, standard rated, and exempt. Zero rated means the cells they attract VAT at zero percent. Standard rated, they attract VAT at 14.5%, and exempt cells, they do not attract VAT. The second item that we are given there is discounted cells. Whether discounted or not, they are all zero rated in this instance of um, of farm feed. So we are told in the question item one that we should indicate by the use of a zero any amount which is not chargeable or not claimable. So we are putting zeros there. Then we have got um, sales return. Which is also zero rated. We also has got uh, under output. We've got also impaired deaths. Impaired deaths, which are also zero rated. Then we also, under output tax, we also have got this passenger motor vehicle that was acquired during the year of the engine capacity of 3,200 cc. So we are not going to, the passenger motor vehicle doesn't attract VAT, but the motoring benefit attracts the output VAT at 14.5 percent the yearly benefit in US dollars of an engine capacity of 3200 is 9600 then per month we say 1 divided by 12 then we say 14 comma 5 divided by 114 comma 5 multiplied by 9600 multiplied by 1 divided by 12 we get 101 then we move on to input tax we are given cost of sales but when calculating input tax, we don't consider cost of sales. We either consider purchases or sales. So here we we'll consider raw materials procured, which is our purchases. Farm feed uses uh, soya beans as its raw materials. These are also zero rated. Then we have salaries and wages. Also, they don't rank for VAT. All risk insurance. Policy does not rank for VAT. Interest on overdraft. Overdraft facility. This is from a financial institution. Doesn't rank for VAT. Then we have got repairs and maintenance at 14,5 divided by 114,5 multiplied by 17,000 
then we get 14,5 divided by 114,5 multiplied by 17,000. Then we also have got stationary. We are told that um, 50% of the stationery was procured from unregistered operators, which means 50% was procured or was purchased from registered operators. So say 50% multiplied by 14,5 divided by 114,5 multiplied by the total cost of 14,000. percent multiplied by 14,5 divided by 114,5 multiplied by 14,000. Then we also have fiscal devices. Zimra allows 50% of the cost of the fiscal devices to be claimed as input tax. So in this instance, we are going to say 50% multiplied by the cost of the fiscal devices. We get 13,000. Then here, output VAT, output VAT or output tax is 101, and input tax is 16,039. So this gives us a VAT refundable, as the input tax is more than the output tax. So we get the VAT refundable of 15938, which is 101 plus 16 minus 16 16039 we get 15938 then uh, we move on to part b part b is saying briefly explain the requirements which must be met by registered vat operators to claim input tax for two marks here we are supposed to know what is required by the registered operators to be able to claim VAT. First of all, registered operators should have a valid tax invoice or a valid fiscal tax invoice with the correct address, with both VAT of the supplier and the customer and the correct addresses. If it's a fiscal tax invoice, it should also have a fiscal signature. The second item, the VAT invoice should be claimed in the relevant period or it should be claimed in the period not more than 12 months. Thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe.